Greetings, APCH. It's a joy to see you, although virtually. I uh, asked Lori if she'd uh, join me today. Hi, all. I, I uh, miss seeing you in person, and I miss being with you in worship and Bible study and just casually. So we look forward to a time when we can do that together. Uh, the government last night um, confirmed that things will begin opening up in The Hague, for which we continue to be thankful, although also careful, because the virus is still uh, able to go viral. So um, we, we pray for the church, we pray for the health of you all, um, and we pray that we'll be able to help each other be careful for all this as well. The council last night uh, discussed um, when the church would have worship together physically again. Um, the council made the decision that we're going to work toward having worship uh, in July, the first Sunday of July, if possible. We want to make sure all of the preparations are made. All of the um, people are ready who will help us as ushers, help control the flow, help control the separation and all that. So there's a lot of work and a lot of care. Uh, the church um, isn't as ventilated as well as we wish it would be. And so uh, there may have to be a lot of separation between two services in July to make sure we can clear out the air and everything. The service will be a little shorter. We're looking at very limited uh, singing, if any. Um, but we're working on this. We want to have the best worship services possible. And yet at the same time, we'll continue to have the services in one way or other um, online so that those who can't be there or shouldn't be there or are cautious about being there will be able to continue to participate in worship as we have. Um, we we uh, are very thankful for all the ways people have been caring for one another, uh, caring for us, uh, calls, uh, visits through windows or at doors, um, and we know this is going on in all kinds of ways. If you need care, please let the church know. Give us a call at APCH or send us a, a message so that we can help the church care for you. One of the things I've read recently that struck me as a good word for me and for all of us is from Philippians chapter 4. Paul himself is in prison. Um, he probably also has not been able to go out and about. He's been limited to a cell, whatever the nature of that prison cell was. And from there, he writes to the Philippians. And he says more than once in that short four-chapter letter, Finally, beloved, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Paul in prison saying to rejoice. And so certainly during this pandemic, we can learn as well how to rejoice in the gifts of God in spite of some of the limitations of the, of the uh, culture all around us. And then Paul continues, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lori and some of the women from her prayer, uh, Bible study just got out of a weekly prayer group. Other people are joining in prayer for you and for each other, for which we give great thanks. And we encourage you during this time to grow in your life of prayer, bringing all of your fears or concerns or exhaustions or thanksgivings to God. And then the peace of God will bless and keep us all. So let me pray for all of us. Let's pray together. Living God, for the gift of APCH, we give you great thanks. And for the way people care for one another, by your Holy Spirit, continue to encourage us and help us to care for those who need care and for friends and family and neighbors all around. And then we pray that indeed you will help us to have the wisdom and the skill to know how we can best open up in July, and then also how we can be safe, but also get to see one another again in limited ways. And then we'll rejoice in all your gifts to us. In your name we pray, amen. God bless and keep you. 
Same. Toad scenes. Toad scenes. Bye.